back to the paddock with four minutes to post. Here's Trish. Thank you, and there are a lot of great guys in this sport. One of them is joining me now. That's Eric Ledford, and he'll be handling future scooter in today's 11th race. And Eric, you're an Ohio native, and you're one of those drivers that decided to branch out and go elsewhere. You chose to go to Illinois. What do you find interesting about racing on the Chicago circuit? Uh, there's quite a bit of money. Uh, the people there are uh, great to race with, and we race seven days a week. Seven days a week. That's a hard schedule, but as a catch driver, what do you do to uh, keep yourself mentally up for a grueling schedule? Uh, try to stay home as much as possible during the day with the family, uh, but it still gets pretty hectic, especially this time of year when you're doing a lot of travel. Well, you know, this is a business that has a lot of things going for it, and one of the things that it has going for it is the people. So you have a lot of people you have to rely on as a catch driver. What is the biggest asset a trainer can bring to you for you to be successful? Good horse is an opportunity to drive them. All right, the opportunities aren't always easy to get. Uh, was it tough for you when you first went out to Chicago? Yeah, I didn't get uh, very few, if any, mounts uh, for the first little while, and uh, things kind of shook loose good and uh, went a few quality races, and uh, it's, it's happened real good from there. One of the other things we talk about is equipment, and there seems to be a big buzz now about the Blackjack Salty. Have you driven in it, and if you have, what do you think of it? Yeah, I actually have one uh, in Chicago. I race with it primarily on the uh, half-mile track. Uh, we switch back and forth every day from the half to the mile, so it's kind of tough for me to take it back and forth. Uh, but I like it. Uh, it gives the horse a lot of lift, and it tracks real well. All right, that's an important feature. We talk about the lift a lot, but tracking real well. Uh, are there some bikes that um, actually cost you some ground in terms of tracking? No, not really. Uh, I use my own bike on virtually every horse that I drive. I use Telstars, and uh, now I've switched over and using the Blackjack uh, on a regular basis on the half. So I use my own, and I, I think I get along with those fine. Have bike, will drive. That's what it sounds like. What about future scooter? Badly beaten last time out. Uh, 16 and a quarter lengths at Scioto Downs in Ohio Sire Stake. Anything you can say about that performance? You weren't in the bike. No, uh, she's been real sick. Uh, my father got her operated on, um, said she's a whole lot better. She has a lot of talent, uh, had kind of a tough go at it this year, just struck with bad luck with sickness and stuff. Uh, other than that, they think she's ready. She actually has had a lot of bad luck at the draw as well. Her last four starts, 7-8, seven, 7-7. Seven, seven. Today, things turned around for her here at Delaware with the rail. How much of an advantage is that? Oh, it's a lot. She has tremendous gait speed. She does about everything right. Uh, hopefully we can get out of there and uh, maybe get things going our way. Well, today's kind of like a vacation for you. You came in for one drive. Uh, you're standing around chit-chatting. Um, anything, uh, anything special about today's car that you've noted so far? No, a lot of good racing. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy getting to see everybody that I haven't seen in a year. So it is a nice day, and it is kind of like a vacation day. Me too. Thanks for joining me, Eric. Thank you. Let's go back over. Thanks very much, Trish. Dave, we were talking earlier. I think Eric Ledford could be the next guy to uh, maybe make the shift to the Meadowlands, especially hooked up with the powerful Joe Anderson station.